spirit life and spirit walk. Galatians 5.25 If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. As Paul continues to teach us about the Spirit-filled life, he says here in verse 25, If we live in the Spirit, if we claim to be people who are spiritual, that means we are people who are drawing our life from the Spirit. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit. That to walk means to order our conversation, to order everything that we do in life. That's the way we live. That's the way we think, speak, and behave. So everything that we do in life, to walk, he says, you walk in the Spirit. So if I claim to be a person who is living in the Spirit, living a life that is yielded to the Holy Spirit, the true test of that is in how I walk. It is not enough to claim to be living in the Spirit. It is only made evident by how I walk. That means how I think, speak, and act. That is what shows me if I'm really living in the Spirit. My walk reveals where I live from. And if I'm living from the Spirit, he says, then the way you think, speak, and act will be aligned, will be submitted, will be yielded, will be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. You will walk in the Spirit. So, how do we do this in everyday life? You know, as we go through life, in our day-to-day -day situations, there'll be a lot of things that, that that stir up the flesh. Anger, things that can cause us to become angry, irritated, uh, bitter, hateful. All, all these things, as we saw earlier, are the works of the flesh. So the, there are things that can that impinge on our mind and, our, and, and stir up all these wrong emotions. But if I'm living in the Spirit, then in that situation, I will walk in the Spirit. That means I will think, speak, and act from where I live from, my life in the Spirit. So although there are things that agitate, and although there are things that want to um, cause the flesh to act up, the cause the flesh to come out and manifest the works of the flesh, what happens? I'm living in the Spirit, and I say, Holy Spirit, you're in me, I'm yielded to you. Now I want to walk in the Spirit in that given moment in that situation. I want to think, speak, and act yielded to the Holy Spirit. That is walking in the Spirit. So then, in that moment, instead of manifesting the works of the flesh, we make the fruit of the Spirit come out of our lives. Love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, patience, self-control, faithfulness. These are the things that become evident even in the middle of that kind of a situation. That is the life that we're called to live. He says, if you're living in the Spirit, walk in the Spirit. This is available, possible for all of us as believers. Let's walk in the Spirit. Let's pray. Father, we ask that in every situation, we will walk in the Spirit. We will think, act, and speak, submitted, yielded, and under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Spirit of God, Help us to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.